named after Bear Bryant and former Alabama President George Denny. We're in Bryant Denny Stadium, the site for today's great contest. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Alabama lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Georgia's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Perfect. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. It's the tailback brought down at the 25. And he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. It's second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. He just gets rid of it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. And they make the stop at the 50-yard line. Listen to this place. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. He airs it out. Boy, did he fire that baby down the field. There aren't too many quarterbacks in the country who can make that throw. And the ones that can are playing on Sunday. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. the middle for a nice game. A gain of about four yards on the draw. That makes it second and six. Nice play to set up first and goal. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. Here's the eighth play of the series. All the big boys are on the field now. Both teams have their big sets out there. And he rifles it in there for the touchdown. That'll be a big boost. You always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations. And that pass was an excellent call. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was an eight-play, 80-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. back. Picked 
picked up a yard of anything on that run. From their own 25 yard line, second down. He's scrambling. Got the corner. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. Call his own number on that one. I like the idea of trying to run here, but the defense really made him pay the price for trying to run. From their own 28-yard line, it's third down. Throws incomplete. That's exactly how they drew it up on the sideline, and now they get the ball back. That brings us fourth and seven. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. And this one is a beauty. Tackle at the 35 yard line. The Bulldogs really got the job done on that first drive, and they took the crowd out of this thing. They sure did, and I was really impressed with the execution by the quarterback. It's tough to be able to communicate with your linemen, and not to mention your wide receivers. I thought he did a very nice job of showing great poise, keeping his composure, and, and leading them to some points. We'll see what he can do here this next time out. Georgia is up seven. Gets it and hammered right away. Second and ten. Ball on their own 35. Go for it, go. Tackle around the 43-yard line. The crowd of this stadium always a factor in the football game. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. That's a key play to find the open man and keep the drive alive. First and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. Rose, and it's knocked away. Great instinctive timing by the corner to deflect the pass. That's just really solid coverage skills. They'll run it. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. And he's tackled at the 39-yard line. Georgia up seven points. Flares it and almost had it intercepted. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd and this stadium. Fires across the middle. The slam pattern good for about eight yards on the play. It's fourth down and they're gonna try to go for it. He's taken down around the nine-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend.
tenth play of the drive. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Makes the catch and look out. Out of bounds around the five yard line. From the five yard line, it's second down. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. Here's the 12th play of the drive. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Oh, that's a great job of some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. And he hits the PAT. Thorson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. He's tackled right around the 26-yard line. That's a team of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. From their own 26-yard line, second down. Throws in a triple coverage, and it's intercepted. Brad, it's still early in this game. They might be able to get back into it. I just feel like the quarterback seems to be forcing things a bit. I understand trying to get back and fighting to get back in the game, but that time to throw an interception when you really need points, that was a big mistake. First and 10, ball on the 28. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. They give to the tailback. Tackle made right around the 30. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. down now and they need to get it to the 18. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country and they are on their feet. Fires to the wide out first down. That makes it first and ten. Bring him down at the three-yard line. That makes it first, first and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. Red two, orange three. Touchdown, Georgia! And he adds the extra point. Georgia to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with a kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. Dives for extra yardage. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's going to try and scramble. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Quick throw, brought down, right around the 38-yard line. That's a gain of two on one play. That makes it second and eight. From their own 38-yard line, second down. All day, just like that, just like that. Scrambling around, and they make the stop around the 40-yard line. One, maybe two yards on the quarterback scramble. That makes it third and seven. tries to buy some time and they got him boy this pass rush is sometimes scary they're really getting after the quarterback now bell is back deep to return he really got a hold of that one. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. George is taking no prisoners in this game so far, Herbie. Well, they've really exploited some one-on-one -on -one opportunities and came up with some big plays that eventually have led to those touchdowns. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. First down. From their own 39-yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 39. So at the end of one, Georgia in front, 21-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. They'll get him for a loss. The defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense if he's releasing a safety to stop the run. Throws complete, he's got room to work. And he's taken down right around the 42-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. 
They'll spread the field with five wide. Red, two, Good. three, nine. Three, nine. Tackle around the 33-yard line. First down. Strike to his receiver, no good. From the 33-yard line, it's second down. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It has the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, Sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Now he's scrambling. And he's level at the 36-yard line. From the 49 yard line. First down. Wide open receiver, and it's incomplete. scrambling and down he goes at the 18 yard line from the 18 yard line second down they'll wrestle him down in the backfield We're at play number nine of this current drive. You better be afraid of me. You better be afraid of me. 
He throws it. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. This is the 10th play of this drive. Going to the end zone. Touchdown for the tight end. So he was able to connect with a tight end for the score. Yeah, they did a nice job inside the red zone of mixing up the play calling. That touchdown obviously fooled the defense. They'll go for two in this situation. He scrambled. He's in for the conversion. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Looking for his man, incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Almost intercepted there. is back to receive. He makes it to the 48-yard line. I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there where they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. Second down and six. Ball on the 48. Throws and it's incomplete. The ball was underthrown. It was a good read. He just needs to find his rhythm back there and step and throw the football. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Bell, back to return it. They'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. The Bulldogs right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this. And let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack him. In my opinion, they've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on him. What they've done so far hasn't worked. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. 
Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled at about the 27-yard line. First down. From their own 27-yard line, it's first down. Nice run up the middle. That makes it second and two. Carries the ball for a nice game. Gaining four yards. First down. From their own 38 yard line. First down. Black five, black five. He goes out of bounds around the 45 yard line. That'll make it second and four. Tackle made at the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, first down. Fires quick, tipped. And he did a nice job breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. This is the ninth play of this drive. They bring him down. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. And this is the tenth play of the drive. And a quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 30. Number one on the tackle at the 30-yard line. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. And this is the 12th play of the drive. He lets it go. That close to being intercepted. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's in trouble. Wide receiver screenplay. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. Thorson looks ready to kick this one off. 
He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but i got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. And he hits him hard at the 28-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Well, we've played a half of football. Georgia's lead is 19. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Neither ground game very productive in that first half, David, and I really think it came down to each player on the defensive side executing their assignments and trying to get the positive self-determination they wanted from the defense. No doubt about it. And you look at the defense is doing such a great job stopping the run. That's the first thing that you do 99% of the time in meetings is what are we going to do first? Stop the run. Because that's usually the place where you can get gashed the most. It's the simplest. Quarterbacks don't have to go back and make reads. It's designed. You know what they're going to do. But it also comes down to the big boys up front and those big boys making holes. And right now, I don't see many holes. And I don't care if you have Barry Sanders. I don't care if you have the best running back of all time, whoever it is in your backfield. If there's not a hole, there's no yards to be made. There's nothing they can do. So the defensive line doing a great job stuffing the run. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. George is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down at about the 35. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Caught open field. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker fires to his receiver first down we've got a really good battle going on up front right now that time the offense ends up making the play the offense finds it all the things to give the quarterback enough time to throw but you know, kind of the game within the game right now is, is the battle up front between the offensive and defensive line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. From their own 45-yard line, second down. Now he tries to buy some time. Picks up five on the scramble. Side, and they make the stop at around the 48-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. It's 
scrambling around. Tackle the 39-yard line. So the scramble goes for nine yards. That brings up second and one. This is the eighth play of this drive. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep in their own territory. Gets to about the 34-yard line. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. Miller gains four yards on that reception. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he nails the long field goal. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Here's the halfback on the screen. That's a great tackle at the 29. That's a game of four. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. He steps out right around the 30. Catches it, and down he goes at about the 39-yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. And so it's another third down upcoming here. There's a strike complete, and he's hit immediately. Bernard is back deep to return the punt. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The Bulldog staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He's tackled at the 24. 
makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 24. He's on the run. He lost the ball. It's scooped up, and it's a lineman that's got it. Tackle made at about the 29-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Slings it. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down right around the 44 yard line. Taken down around the 35 yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. First and 10. All on the 31 yard line. Quick throw, he gets hit out of bounds at the 26. He scrambled. Brought down around the 25 yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. Gets it. He's in space. He's pushed out of bounds at the one-yard line. It definitely put them in better field position. I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. First and goal, and they need a touchdown here to get back in this game. A short yardage defense here. They're going to pitch it. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Alabama ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. Second down and six. Ball on the 29. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. You expect this every time you're here and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Go 
Thorson to punt. Oh, excellent punt. He's taken down at the 31. I'm sure that touchdown and their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look and try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 45. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop at about the 49. Hands it off. That's three down and one to go. Georgia's lead is nine. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. He's scrambling. That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. the catch and he's not going to get there great tackle both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead this defense has really got to step it up and make a stop they come out on an empty backfield they run it left nice run to the outside they're about four yards away here on second down They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. He wasn't decisive at all in that option. Once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. This one will fall incomplete. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. Touchback. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Quick strike, and he drops it. The wide receiver wasn't able to hang on. Well, you talk about a solid hit. This guy is a true enforcer. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 20. And he hits him hard at the 19. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. That's right, baby. They don't want it. Hey, 25 for Mike. 25 for Mike. Oh, 
crosses out to the tailback on the screen. Tackle right around the 22-yard line. Number six on the tackle at the 22-yard line. That makes it fourth and eight. Bell is the deep man awaiting the return. And this one is a beauty. Bell fields at the 29. Tackle made at the 44-yard line. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. Out of bounds at the 50-yard line. Second so it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And he's shoved out of bounds right around the 12-yard line. First down. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Black five, to the end zone, finds his receiver, touchdown. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Boy, that's a big play and a big touchdown for the offense. The one thing that that play requires is time. The quarterback had time to make a decision to eventually make that long throw for the touchdown. The defense has got to do a much better job of getting pressure on the quarterback and not allowing him to sit back there and make those throws. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the referee signals for a touchdown again. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. And they won't get the two. Georgia gets set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled at the 28. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Throws incomplete. but he can't shake the defense. So they're going to go for it here. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Tack on any yardage. Second and six. Ball on the 45. And down. 
down he goes at about the 47 yard line. sack they've been all over this quarterback today the pass protection has got to do a better job but give this defense some credit they've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and it cause him some problems bell back deep to return he really got a hold of that one this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. On the ground, inside, tackled for a loss. From their own 20-yard line. It's second down. He's going to air it long. Terrific effort to pick up the first down. He got total extension and was able to keep his hands between the ball and the turf. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Red two, green nine. Throws a laser across the middle. He's tackled around the 31 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. He fights forward to about the 29. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Fights forward to about the 26. First down. From the 26 yard line. First down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Beck gains about five yards on the option play. Alabama's going to take their first time out of the half. Just over two minutes in the game. Opening. Makes it out to about the 13. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, it, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 10. Touchdown, Georgia! Georgia's staff is so lucky they got a multi-dimensional quarterback. Nothing is more dangerous to a defense than dealing with a quarterback that can run and throw. And this time, he uses his feet to get into the end zone for a crucial touchdown in this game. He makes the PAT. Thorson ready to kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. 
What do they have in store this time out? Throws out to the running back, no good. It's second and 10. Ball in the 25. Strike to his receiver, no good. Great hands there by the wide receiver. Unfortunately for him, he couldn't get a foot down in bounds. Brought down at about the 29 yard line. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Just under two minutes in the game. There's a strike complete. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. And they get nice yardage on that run. Second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 26-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. And now he's got room to run. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. The Bulldogs know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line, he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future. But for now, he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance. And, and really, the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.